President Obama has made his speech on deficit cutting. For some reaction, we're joined by Americans for Tax Reform President Grover Norquist. Hi there, Grover. Good to be with you. All right, you've heard all about the deficit according to Obama. What do you think about what he said? What he should have focused on is his overspending problem that he created. Uh, he is reacting, of course, to uh, Congressman uh, Paul Ryan's $6 trillion budget fix. Paul Ryan's budget drops $6 trillion, with a T, $6 trillion of spending out of Obama's next 10 years of budgets. And the best Obama could do is some vague promises to decrease not spending $4 trillion, but the deficit, which means he's looking at $2 trillion in tax increases and maybe $2 trillion in spending, none of which he spelled out. Uh, so it was a, wasn't a very good effort. He said his plan would trim $4 trillion, as you said, from the deficit in 12 years. Will it? Uh, no. Uh, what he does there is he sets up tax increases that don't have to be voted on. That's a nice trick. Most of what goes on happens after 2014, which is, interestingly enough, after the next election. He is running, this is a campaign document, not a governing document. He's never yet become president. He's still being a candidate. Uh, it is the kind of thing candidates say being fuzzy. It's Richard Nixon, I have a secret plan to get out of Vietnam. It's not, I'm the president and here's what I would like to do. And again, Paul Ryan cut $6 trillion out of Obama's already bloated budget. Obama's budget raises $1.5 trillion in taxes, and today he said he wants to cut some spending, but he wants to include tax increases as counting as spending. So we have no idea how much real spending restraint he claims to be for. It could all be tax increases, given his definition of tax cuts, uh, tax increases, as spending cuts. Okay, he wants to raise taxes on those making over $250,000 a year instead of leaving their rates at President Bush's levels. How much of a dent will that realistically make in the deficit? Uh, well, it'll raise uh, taxes a great deal. It'll make the deficit worse because if you raise marginal taxes, you slow economic growth. A lot of the damage to the deficit uh, during the Obama years came from all of his overspending, his threatened tax increases, and the many tax increases he passed as part of Obamacare, his government takeover of health care. So when you raise taxes, as the Greeks learned and the French learned and the Spanish learned, you slow economic growth and the deficit gets worse, not better. House Republicans led by Speaker Boehner say tax increases are a non-starter. So was Obama's tax increase plan just tantamount to tossing a bone to his liberal base? Yeah, what he wants to do is move away from talking about spending restraint, which is important, and pretend to talk about deficit reduction instead. He is acting as if phony tax increases that will never happen, because the House of Representatives will never allow it to happen. Uh, I run Americans for Tax Reform. We manage the Taxpayer Protection Pledge. 235 members of the U.S. House have signed the pledge never to raise taxes. 41 senators have signed the pledge never to raise taxes. And Obama's plan is let's raise taxes. It's not going to happen. Do you think the president's serious at all about cutting from the budget, or is this just more rhetoric? If he was serious, he wouldn't have bankrupted the country by spending too much in the last two years. He would have reined in spending then. But the first thing he did when he got into office was throw $800 billion up in the air, the stimulus package, add $1 trillion to domestic discretionary spending over the decade just by increasing spending without even thinking about it. And then he came up with a series of multi-trillion dollar new spending programs, his energy plan, which has been so far defeated, and his health care plan, which did pass. So he's done nothing but spend since he got in. Now that the American people voted against him in 2010, he's pretending that he's not for more spending. I don't believe him. Obama talked about simplifying the tax code, something you've championed for a long time. Do you think he's really serious about it? Again, he was the President of the United States for two years now. He had a Democratic House. He had a Democratic Senate. He could have done anything he wanted, and the only thing he did is raise taxes and make the tax code more, uh, d more dangerous and more destructive and more complicated. Why do you believe that, he, that now that he doesn't have the power to do it, why do you think he wants to do it? 
During the first part of Obama's speech, he in essence blamed Bush again, mentioning two wars and an unfunded prescription drug program. He says he found himself deeply in debt when he took office. In your opinion, is he blind to the record and some would say reckless spending of the Democrats who controlled Congress until three months ago, spending packages which he, Obama, signed? Yes, most of this additional spending was his doing. When he talks about the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, they're not wars anymore, they're occupations, and he's the one who tripled the troop strength in Afghanistan. We're spending $110 billion a year sitting on top of Afghanistan because he decided to do that, and there's no end in sight. That's a trillion dollars over the next decade that he decided to spend. Uh, blaming Bush for getting into Afghanistan is a little bit silly since he's been president for two years and all he's done is increase it. And by the way, he just brought us a new war that's not for free in Libya. Grover Norquist, as always, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.